Hi everyone. We are going to paint this little daisy quickly, but it's going to be a very loose painting. So I'm not even going to draw anything out on the paper here. We're just going to um, paint it. I have about 10 minutes, so I think I'll be able to do that. Um, just want to see, maybe I should turn it this way. And I'll move this to this side. Get some clean paper. Paper towel. Well, this is actually fine. We'll just use this section here. And I'm going to use this old black silver brush. Um, it is lovely to mix your, um, instead of using your expensive brushes, you just use one of these brushes to mix your colors. I'm going to use this yellow. This is the sminky transparent yellow. It's a lovely color. I want the colors to be quite translucent. And then I'm going to make another little um, mix here on the palette for some green. And we'll just mix in a little bit of ultramarine. And this is from Winsor & Newton. And you can see it just creates this beautiful color. So I'm going to mix it there. I want that beautiful green. So that is the transparent yellow from Sminky uh, mixed with some ultramarine. And then this is the yellow that I want and I will just mix a little bit of different colors in to get to the darkest uh, colors that you can see in the flower there. This should be enough. Um, and this paper is from, it's a little sketchbook. It's Fabriano, it's for drawing I'm using it for watercolors, um, so it is 160 grams, lovely paper, it's actually for drawing but I normally just do some sketches in here. I think the green should be enough, if I need more I'll just pick up some more um, ultramarine and then you can make it a little bit darker on that side, with just a bit more of the green in there. But that's should be fine. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm just going to put my brush down there. So I'm going to use for the to um, paint the little stem. Just going to pick up some color, and I'm just going to go down. So this is a loose watercolor painting, and as you can see, the stem is quite crooked. <laughs> it's a few days old. Um, and just go down oops but it's got a little kink there <laughs> so let's make another kink there okay and then I just want to paint in tiny little markings there that I can see of this flower there so, and it's a little bit thicker there so I normally paint a little bit more realistic or you know a little bit more detail but um, I want to also sometimes when I don't have a lot of time during the week just sit down and do a quick sketch in my paint sketchbook and this is what this is for and some different little markings just here and there there's not too much water on my brush and if you want a little bit of brown, just take a bit of green, uh, sorry, red, <laughs> that I have on my palette here. I'm just going to mix a drop of that in and paint some in at the bottom there. And the color on the plate, or the mixture on the plate, is not wat too watery. It's perfect. Okay, I'm going to just rinse my brush and twirl it on some paper so that it dries in a nice beautiful point again so that the next time you pick it up it's clean and there shouldn't be any pigment on um, if there is I can see there's still a little bit more it's highly pigmented watercolors some of these um, professional watercolors um, so that should be fine for next time for this for the petals I want to use this number one Winsor & Newton it's a Cotman's Riga brush okay it's new I haven't tried it yet as you can see the sticker is still on there I'm gonna see if I can get the petals right to paint this 
I'm starting a whole new um, beginner tutorials for Patreon. I have a few beginners there and they really don't know anything about watercolor so we are going to start painting a hell of a lot of new tutorials but easy watercolors as well. We will go back the next day and we'll paint in the um, detail if we want to. So let's see if we can get those little petals right. Okay, so it's lovely this brush. I just want the thicker petal there. And then let's go up there. Might be a bit thin, but you can just go back over it and drop in a bit more color. And there. And I'm gonna go all over the place because these petals have all, um, uh, they all started to dry now. So I'm going to just go all over the place and let each section dry a little bit before I go back onto the next section. And I don't mind it overlapping because it's for fun and we want it to look realistic. So I can see a little petal coming from that side too. So I'm just going to paint that in as well. And I want quite a thicker section there. I'll go back later. Oops, I just touched the yellow there and a bit more like that so i think this brush is amazing maybe a little bit thicker so maybe a one or two will even be better so um i want them all to be different colors nice tips and if you need more just mix a little bit more color and we all want i want them all to come together because i'm going to add some more green over this section later so this is very loose relaxing fun watercolors and we doesn't matter if some of the colors are wet I keep on touching that because it's so wet um doesn't matter if it's overlapping and if it run into other sections we want to just paint for about 10 minutes as this is I would say this is more to practice your brush strokes than anything else and brush strokes is what you need to know in watercolors everything about watercolors is about brush strokes so my yellows are quite dark and I quite like that and a few that you can't see but I'm still gonna drop them in so I want quite a lot of thick colors there oh I love it I actually love it and I just go little funny little wiggly bits every now and again because I'm looking from it from the side you're looking from it from the top so mine looks a little bit different than what you can see this flower look like but um, in the end it should all be the same there's a one that got a nice fold there that I can see it's actually quite a lovely brush you have to have a little bit of control over your brush strokes, but it's not um, overly loose. It's quite firm. So I think I'm going to make it a little bit more watery now. And I don't want too much water on my brush, but I, wow, do you feel that lovely breeze? A uh, breeze. <laughs> um, it's such a windy day today. It's beautiful. Um, so we wanted to take the babas for a walk this morning but it was too windy so we just um, didn't go it was so cold as well very cloudy and rainy so um, wow this brush is really amazing I'm going to pick up a, this that I dropped here but it's a sketchbook so I don't mind and there and I'm going to just drop in a few more that's hanging here at the back because this poor flower is busy dying and now I'm going to leave it just to dry for a second and then I'm going to paint the rest of these green little markings here so I want to just go over this section here and again I'm using this brush which is the rigger from Cotman's uh, from Windsor & Newton and I just want to paint in some of those little strokes that I can see there's little markings that I can see on the stem of this Barberton Daisy or Gerbera, I think it's how you pronounce it. Um, it was 
Actually, this is not the Gabira. The Gabira, I painted the petals, sorry. This is just a daisy. And, you know, it's not everyone's favorite flower, but it is a beautiful flower. Quite easy to paint. Um, and just go everywhere just to create a smoking. You don't want a solid green line because you want it to look like little, um, you know, like little different markings i'm not going to go in there yet because that is still wet but i'm going to go and try and miss that section there because that is quite wet i'll show you there it's still a bit wet but in fact it is loose watercolor so i don't mind just dropping in a little bit of that and oh my gosh i quite like this brush it is really really very nice um There you go. Just little, those little leaves, green leaves that you can see there. And this is literally, um, I think, less than 10 minutes. Watercolor study. So now what you can do is leave it to dry and come back later and add a little bit more. But I'm focusing on brush strokes for beginners. And I've got one new patron that is um, battling with starting with watercolors and I told her that this year I will focus a lot on little brush strokes and detail and stuff um, you know so that she can just focus on brush strokes and not worry about all the detail flowers that I'm painting because it is quite technical and once she gets the gets to the basics and she learns all of these little basics i don't mind a little bit of green there it's actually quite nice um she will just enjoy this beautiful um watercolor medium that i love so much um and you know i started with my daughter she's so stressed she just did a masters in water um in watercolor no she didn't do a masters in watercolor in law and um she is so stressed because she's waiting for her final marks and she said to me mom it's so relaxing even you saw I, I posted a picture with how she was painting with me and she said to me mom it was so relaxing I really enjoyed it and I said to her well, I'm so glad you enjoyed it because it is so fun to just sometimes sit and just to paint now I can't remember how these little leaves are but mm, I'm just going to paint one in and leave a little highlighted section there and just drop that in as well so I'm going to leave that section open there a little white marking there and then we'll just go on this side as well um, wow these this brush is quite nice and like I say obviously if you have a lot of coffee and you shake in the morning it might not work but even for me that had Three cups of coffee already it's quite nice to use and quite fun so I want to leave a highlighted section there pick up some more color there and this is a very fun tutorial and anyone can paint it even if you've never painted in your life I'm showing you exactly how much pigment I have on my palette here um, I'm showing you exactly how to hold your brush. I'm showing you exactly how to get the detail. Now it might be a little bit of a mess there later, but it's loose watercolors. And I don't necessarily want you to go back and faff over it too much because you want to leave it as is. That's it. I'm going to write the date here because it is a study for my book. And today is the 3rd of Jan. I'm just going to write it here, 3 Jan 2023, whoops, and that's my little daisy that I painted. And um, I hope you enjoyed this. I will paint a few more flowers that we will share with everyone over the next couple of days this literally took took me 14 15 minutes 20 minutes that's what we want to do um which i also want to include in some of my watercolor studies is a little bit more of loose watercolors 
for fun and relaxing. I mean, we all need to relax sometimes. It's not, I mean, life sometimes just get a bit hectic and, you know, hard. Um, this is a watercolor. I'm not sure if this is from, if you can find this anywhere else. I paid about 70, 71 rand for it, 70 uh, rand and 99 cents. But this, it's manufactured in Cape Town. It's a very reasonable watercolor paper that you can find um, to paint these little studies on. But I also told my daughter, the best thing that you can do is get a sketchbook like this. And... It's got like this round a binder, what do you call this, spiral, spiral binder. And these little, well I have a lot of studies now, I'm not going to show everyone. But just a few little studies that I did over the years, like this one. And this I painted in 2017. And it, well, it is totally a mess and you obviously, you know, it's not perfect. But that is what my studies are for, my book for. <laughs> Abby painted that, my books just sometimes we just want to sit and draw and it's a total mess but it's fine it's yours so this palette because i'm going to do all these studies i am going to clean this so that i have it ready here um, for every time that i want to paint but i don't always clean my palettes out because sometimes you find amazing colors that you don't know how you got to that <laughs> and one of my palettes i never clean my sminky one i leave as is i agree i mix my greens um that one is downstairs i mix all my greens my yellows my blues my purples all in there and i never clean that one so it's fun to have a palette that you don't worry about and you never clean it i'm gonna clean this one quickly and you know obviously if you don't want muddy watercolors you make sure that you have your blues in one side your greens one side your yellows one side or you mix your yellows on a separate plate because yellow do get muddy um so you don't want that necessarily oh this color you see some colors are very staining so let me show you it stained my palette but i'm gonna go and clean it with some something right now some alcohol wipes and that should be fine because i clean it out but this was a lovely tutorial i hope you had fun and I will see you soon with a new tutorial. Have a lovely day. Bye.